the timer going now? God is yeah. good. Is the little timer uh, moving, baby? Yeah. See, in the screen, is the little timer moving? Yeah, it's working. Okay. Through it all, we can stand tall for Jesus. Right. Amen. I wanted to show that little flick tonight because I knew that it showed the pictures of Jesus. I couldn't help but think of Sister Val on that one where he was carrying that person through the sand and looking back at the footsteps. Amen. How many times have you felt like that? Amen. Amen. But we know that God has us. We know that God is going to keep us safe. Amen. We have been through a lot here lately. When I say we, I mean the world. The world, the world has been going through a I guess you would say a crisis, a disaster type thing. Some people right now just don't know what to do, how to do it, when to do it, or what to do it. I heard my wife say this morning that beer sales is skyrocketed. Do we know why? Because they don't have Jesus. And they're looking for the can, or they're looking for the pill, or they're looking for the needle, or they're looking for the fix. I know the fix. I know where the fix is because, see, we know all about Jesus. Amen? Amen. But we got to pray for the world. My subject tonight, my title tonight, is going to be related to this tonight. God doesn't change. That's right. God does not change. Jesus does not change. See, we are to change. Amen. I am the Lord, God tells us, and I do not change. And back in Malachi 3, 6, I am the Lord and I do not change. I am the Lord and I do not change. Do you believe that tonight? Amen. Malachi 3, 6, if you want to look there, we're not going to stay there. We're going into the New Testament, but I wanted to share that with you tonight because, let me read it. For I am the Lord, I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. Let me tell you something, guys. If we don't have God with us... We will be consumed by the things of the world. We will be consumed by worldly things that will tear you down and actually take you out of here. I want you to take your Bibles tonight. And I want you to go to 1 Corinthians, second chapter, please. 1 Corinthians 2. 1 Corinthians 2. We're going to cover 9 through 13 at the minimal tonight. 1 Corinthians 2, 9 through 13. I want to share with you tonight some proof we talked about, or my little wife talked this morning about the supernatural God who that we have on our side. Amen. Do you believe tonight, do you still believe from the morning service today that we can be in the supernatural also? Amen. How do we get there though? Just by sitting here? No. No, we get there by exercising our faith and by reading the word. By studying, by praying, by going on journeys, by doing whatever we can do to get pumped up and filled up with the Holy Spirit. Right. Amen. Without the Holy Spirit, without God, you shall be consumed by the world. Huh? Right. You right. shall be consumed right. by Satan. Right. You will be devoured, you will be eaten alive That's by right. Satan and his imps. I can prove that. You know how I can prove that? If you don't stay in God's Word and you don't stay prayed up, it's just going to happen to you. Amen? The supernatural God who rolled back the Red Sea. You guys remember that? The supernatural God who rained down manna from heaven. Do you remember that? How about our God who caused water to gush from a rock? Do you remember these little stories back in the Old Testament? The amazing God that we serve, who miraculously, listen to this, Pastor Scotty, saved, delivered his people out of Egypt. Yes. Oh, it took a long time, but that wasn't God's fault. That's right. No. See, it's taken, oh, listen to this, it's taken us a long time to get to where we're at. Amen. Are you with me? Amen. It's taken us a long, I'm telling you guys, it's taken us a long time to get where we are at. But we had to go through it all. And guess what? All's not over. Are you with me? We're still going through. See, here's what I want to point out tonight. God doesn't change. 
Here's another thing I want to point out by what we just seen tonight. Jesus went through it all. The whole, am I right? right. The yeah. whole entire time he was here. Amen. Am I right, Grandma? Right. Amen. He didn't get any breaks. Nope. That's right. He didn't get vacations. That's right. He didn't get days off. Right? Right. He didn't even get breaks, really. Yep. Remember, he had to almost fight to get a nap. That's right. Yeah, he didn't get no because of the little sissies around him that kept waking him up. Yeah. Yeah. But you see, they seen all this and they went through this. So we must go through it all. That's right. That's right. You know, guys, sometimes we get down. Sometimes we get out. Sometimes we get discouraged. That's right. Yep. Sometimes we, uh, we get weary. Sometimes we get tired. But we have to remember that we serve a supernatural God that rolled back the Red Sea and miraculously got water out of a rock. Why can't He help us through the things that we go through? Right. He can. That's right. Amen. Amen. We talked this morning about the Israelites, how it took them 40 years because they wandered around. Yep. Well, most of them didn't even make it. Most of them Amen. didn't even make it. You know why? <coughs> they couldn't make it. They just couldn't survive it. They couldn't handle it. I want you to look around at the churches today, <clears throat> and I want you to tell me if that's not the same problem. Amen. See, churches don't even pack out on Easter any longer. Uh -uh. Right. Christmas any longer. Right. In fact, I don't believe churches has packed out since 9-11. I think that's the last time the church right. filled up. That didn't last long. Nope. No. Why didn't they pack out over the virus? Because, see, the devil was able to come in and shut all the churches all the down. Churches and fought that for a while. And God said, oh, no, that's not the way that it's going to be. Are you thankful tonight that we've got a good governor in the state of Texas? Are you thankful tonight that he said, hey, we've got to have worship service. But, see, we've got to go through it all. But, okay, here's my point. The churches are open now. Where's everybody at? It's unbelief. Where's everybody at? Sister Sue talked about unbelief this morning. That's right. Apparently that's what's going on. You know, there's a lot of people right now that's mad at God. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm thankful for the horn honks that we heard today. Amen. When we was out there with our signs. Because I know, I know that people still love Jesus. Yes. But some Amen. of the people that would go by and honk was doing things that they shouldn't have been doing inside their cars. That's right. But they know Jesus, and they love Jesus. But guess what, guys? They're not going through it all. That's right. They're not going That's through. Right. Oh, I remember one of my last sermons that I preached before the church yes. had to had to close for a while. It was going through the motions, but we're not going all the way through the motions. Right. We right. can just touch on motions, amen. Mm -hmm. But we got to finish. We got to go with it. Are you there? Amen. First Corinthians two. And number nine says this, But as it is written, I hath not been, nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God hath prepared for them that love him. Amen. Amen. Guys, yeah. Paul said, I has not seen yet. Amen? Right. Yeah. When most people read this verse, they interpret it to mean it is impossible to know all that God has provided for His children. We don't think back, apparently, like we should, how God rolled back that Red That's Sea. Right. Right. How God saved the Israelites. Yep. How God gushed the water out of the rock. How God let them old people have that baby. Yep. A lot of miraculous things in the Bible, Amen. isn't there? Yet, through it all, Paul did not stop there. That's right. We talked about perseverance this morning. We all know what perseverance means. We gotta press, we gotta push, we gotta keep on going. Amen. Guys, look, it's easy to sit back. Sure it's is. easy to get lazy. Oh yeah. It's just, you know, it's just easy to get comfortable. Yep. It's easy to step back and say, they got it. Right. They yep. got it. You see, that's what's wrong with the churches today. Mm -hmm. We, uh, in fact, some churches are so far stepped back they play their sermons on the screen. Yep. That would be like me preaching from here and having a church in yeah, no. wherever. 
Missouri. Oh my. Yeah, Missouri. Yeah. Woo. Yay. Right? That'd be like having one up there and having me on the screen. Yeah. Well, how could you think much of that? Well, I sure would like to shake that pastor's hand, but how am I going to do that? Sure would like to meet that pastor. How am I going to do that on the screen? Here's my point tonight. People is not going through it all. People apparently is forgetting that God does not That's change. That's right. That's right. We serve the same God today. As we did yesterday. That we did yesterday. Yes. We serve the same God today. That roll back that Red Sea. That's right. We serve the same God today. That made that old old lady have that little baby. Come on, come come on. on am That's I right? That's right. That's yeah. right. It's the same God. <clears throat> Look at number ten. But God hath revealed them unto us by His Spirit, for the Spirit searcheth all things, yea, the deep things of God. You know what, guys? God will reveal things to us if we are prayed up, yep. fasted up, yep. pumped up, and in the Holy Spirit. God will reveal things to us. I know one thing. Let me read verse number 11, then I'm going to touch on a couple things. For what man knoweth the things of a man, save the spirit of man which is in him, even so the things of God knoweth no man but the spirit of God. Let's talk about the spirit for a minute. In verses number 10 and 11, this is talking about how the spirit searches. Do you believe the Holy Spirit is searching for people to get into? That's right. I don't know if you've ever quite heard that like that, have you? Nope. The Holy Spirit, think about this, guys. The Holy Spirit is out there looking, inspecting, and searching. Oh, I want to get in you. Oh, I want to get there. That's right. Hey, evil spirits do it too. That's right. Seems like they get in easier. That's what I'm going to say. They get in easily. Yep. They succeed. Look around. The evil spirits can get in. But yet here we are, some of us Christian people, thinking, I wish I could have more of the Holy Spirit. Huh? Well, Just you can right. have all. He's going, I want there. There's no I limit. I want him. There's no I limit. want you. But see, the, when we don't go through it all, when we just partially try to live for God, the evil spirit is going to finally indwell and finally take over you. Right. Yeah, you're looking at me up, you like you don't believe me now, but I want you to listen to something very, very carefully. If you're not on your tiptoes, if you're not full of the Holy Spirit, if you're not prayed up, evil will keep rolling in. That's right. As my little wife said this morning, you know, guys, we're trying and trying and trying as hard as we possibly can be. To be all that God wants us to be. Come on, Holy Spirit. Come on. Help I'll take me, Lord. You. Come Amen. on, Lord. Bless me. Come on, Lord. Give me what you want me to do. Amen. Come on, Lord. Show yes, me Lord. what I need to do. Amen. Lead me. Guide me. Show me. Help me. Talk for me. Let that bottom jaw drop. And God says, Oh bring it out for you. That's right. Amen. He does. The Spirit is searching for you tonight, guys. And don't look at me like you're just 100% full of the Holy Spirit because we always can take more of the Holy That's Spirit. Right. Amen. Amen. We want 100%, yes. And we're striving for 100%, but Lord, keep on pumping me. Right. Lord, keep on supplying yeah. me. Lord, keep on giving it to me. Here's what happens to a lot of Christians. I think I have enough of the Holy Spirit. I'm getting to heaven. Come on. Watch I got this. enough. No, oh, never enough. I think I got enough, Grandma. Man, I tell you what, I can pray. I can do this. I can fast. I can do this. I can quote scriptures. I can read the whole book of Revelation backwards. I don't care about that. The enemy, the devil, knows the Bible from the front, probably backwards, too. Yes. Does that mean he's a saint? That's right. You see, through it all. Guys, we're not through it all yet. Jesus, from the beginning, huh? Think about the birth. And think whereabouts. Think about the conditions, Sister Debbie. 
Think about the, the uh, surroundings that he was in. Cold, dirty, hay, no bed, no hotel, right? He didn't have a king-size bed, although he was the king. But from that point all the way to Father, forgive them, they know not what they do. Amen. That whole entire lifetime. Through it all. Right. He kept going through it all. He didn't get breaks. He didn't get vacations. He didn't get time off. You know why? Because he loves us. Because he was right. about his father's business. He was about his father's business. And see, guys, we need to quit saying and quit thinking like this. Well, that was Jesus. That's right. That was Jesus. Setting an example. But our word tells us that we can be like Jesus. Right. There's another thing. We talked about miracles and things like that happening this morning. People said, well, I don't believe in miracles no more. Well, you don't believe in my God if you don't believe in miracles no more. You're a miracle. You're a miracle. I'm a miracle. We're all a miracle. It's a miracle every day to wake up. God doesn't change. God says I'm coming after my church people. I had to explain to someone this past week what a remnant was. They didn't like it for a while. <laughs> but after I kept explaining it, oh, are you in that remnant? That's when they left. You see, God says He's coming back, sadly, after His remnant. You know, guys, I wish the Word told us I'm coming back after so many of you guys. I'm going to have to expand the walls in heaven. Right. I'm coming back after so many of you is going to live for me in the end times. I'm going to have to expand the heavens and the walls. It's not that way. He probably looks down here once and says, I think I made heaven a little bit too big. <laughs> just a joke. Yeah, I got plenty of room. Yeah, just a joke. I got plenty of room. One thing about it, we could definitely have social distancing up there, couldn't we? Yeah. <laughs> but you see, guys, we got to go through it all. That's right. So don't think, no matter how full of the Holy Spirit you are, don't think if you never miss another church service, come on. Amen. Don't think if you don't never miss your ties again, right. that you won't go through things. Because we will. That's right. But you see, the Word tells us over and over and over that He's going to protect us. Amen? Amen? The Spirit searches. Through the Holy Spirit, each believer becomes a sharer. I'm not back in the Word yet. I'm reading a little bit off a note right here. The Spirit searches. Through the Holy Spirit, each believer becomes, I like this, a sharer. Do you like to share? Yeah. Yeah. You do? Yeah. I'm glad. How about your morning cup of coffee? Would you share that with me if I come over there? Yeah, sure. I love you. you got one. <laughs> How about a hamburger? Sure. Yeah, uh, yeah they took them all to answer that one. <laughs> the Spirit searches through the Holy Spirit. Each believer becomes a sharer of the very life of God. That's right. That's right. I don't know if you've ever taken that word into consideration tonight. Sharer. I know it's kind of a funny sounding word, but it is a word. Yeah. When we share God's love, we're being a sharer. That's right. That's right. What do you think we was doing a while ago? Sharing. Before sharing. we come to church. Now, what was we doing? Sharing. Being a sharer. We was, huh? Being a sharer. Being a sharer of God's witness. Word. Being a sharer of God's that word. name that's on them signs, yep. Jesus. Being a sharer of God's promised book. Yep. Here, here, here. Take this, take this, take this. Share your horn with me today. Beep. Wonderful. Praise God. See, we've got to be a sharer. Do you believe that? Right. Look at verse number 12. Now we have received, not the spirit of the world. Can you say amen to that? Amen. amen. But the spirit which is in God. Now say amen louder. Amen. That we might know the things that are freely given to us of God. Amen. Are you kidding me? Did that say free? free? I didn't know there was anything free anymore besides lip. Yeah. 
God says it's free. I tell you, what a deal. That's like a while ago. Let's talk about a while ago again. You know what most people think? We was out here to sell something. Yeah. Let me tell you why they think that. Because that's what most people do. Right. Yeah. They're not out here. My wife said, how come more churches don't do this? Now, you know, we're trying to say so positive, aren't we? That's right. We're going to pray that more churches will start doing things like this. Yeah. Because the Word of God needs to be put out there by that's sharers. Right. That's right. We claim to be people of God. we got to share God's Word. we got to share. One lady told me, you got to try to bait them in. Well, I don't know if I like that phrase or not. Right. Right. But I know the point, and here's what I want to say to that. We're not trying to bait them into this church. We're trying to help them figure out that there's a God. Amen. We're trying to help them That's figure right. out that there's a place up there called heaven. Amen. That's right. That's oh, would right. we like for them to come to church? You betcha. Sure. Praise That's God. Right. Come on in here. That's right. This might not be the church for them. But that's any church you walk in. Right. You know, you got to go find your destination. you got to yeah. pray up, and you got to ask God where that church is that you need to be. Right. And here's what I'm trying to say. we got to at least invite them to that place called heaven. That's right. Amen? The Spirit searches. <clears throat> the Spirit which is of God. Now, you've seen and you heard in this scripture right here that we do not live by the Spirit of the world. You know, Paul said that a whole lot. Amen. You know why he could say that so much? Think about this. Because he was of the world. You think you was of the world? Mm. Paul was really of the world. If you're of the world, you're of the world. Don't take me wrong. But I mean, he was... I guess you could say he was about as bad as you could be. Amen? Aren't you glad none of us has been that bad? Don't look at me like that. <laughs> the Spirit indwells believers. Yep. Do you want the Spirit to indwell in your life? Amen. We have not received the Spirit of the world because we have been called out of the world okay. and no longer belong to it. It's in the Bible over yeah. and over and over and over and over. I know it's in John 17, 14. It says, we have been called out of this world because God has a reason for you. Right. Look at number 13. <clears throat> which things also we speak, not in the words which man's wisdom teaches, but with the Holy Ghost teacheth. Amen? Amen? But which the Holy Ghost teaches comparing spiritual things with spiritual. Right. How spiritual do we need to get? If you have the Holy Spirit in you, you're going to be spiritual. Amen? Amen? If you let any gap come into your spiritual life, the world creeps in. That's right. That's right. Have you ever been talking to a person, or, or when you talk to a person, if you talk to them long enough, it doesn't take too long sometimes. You'll know if they're God or not. That's right. Or not. That's right. Will you not? Oh, yeah. You You'll know... Real soon, is that a good feeling? Yeah. Well, I mean the discernment part oh, of it. Sorry. The oh, discernment yeah. part. Is that a good feeling to you? Yeah. yeah. Because see, God loves you so much. He's saying, now, "Did you hear that little part? Uh -huh. You need to pray. Did you catch that little part? You need yeah. to pray. That's right. Did you catch that? My wife, boy. If somebody talks to her, boy. She's like this, man. <laughs> She's looking. She's listening. Boy, I see. Oh, I can see. I can see that mind rolling. I can't wait to get away from that person. Say, what you think about that? <laughs> I have a conversation all the way home. <laughs> Even from Houston sometimes, amen. But you see, we got to listen, and we got to understand that God says, you know, guys, if you just open your ears, if you would just listen. And you just pay attention. You can tell what people are. Why is that? It's for us to pray. For these situations, for these issues that's in this person's life. You know, guys, I love people, don't you? Amen. I mean, I love all people. I don't care what they do to me. Well, I care, but there's nothing I can do about it. That's right. And I used to say this. I don't care if he likes me or not. You ever been there? Yes, I have. Did you ever oh, yeah. used to say that? Yep. And guess what, guys? Think back. 
you didn't really think nothing of that. That's right. How about this? I could care the least if the guy likes me. Uh, yeah. We used to say it. Yep. That's right. I don't care if they like me or not. That's yep. Right. That's right. It bothers me now. It does. Yeah. It bothers me. We talked here probably a few months ago about, you know, if you think about it hard enough, you're going to think of somebody that doesn't like you. That's right. Oh, yeah. Sister Sue says she don't have to think too hard. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't have said that. So. But I do know this tonight, guys. When people don't like you, it needs to really hurt your heart. That's right. Yeah. And you really need to go into prayer for them. Am I right? That's right. And it bothers me. You know why it bothers me? Now, how can I say this and sound spiritual, but now listen to me. It bothers me because I don't want that to be something that's going to send them to hell. That's right. Okay, just say they're living the best life that they can possibly live, but they don't like me. Guess what? That would send them to hell. That's right. I don't want to, I don't want to be part of that. Yeah. So sometimes, guys, we have to stay away from people. Am I right? That's right. Sometimes we have to pray for them. Sometimes we can count on one hand who don't like us. Sometimes we don't have enough fingers and toes. But I do know this tonight. God says you pray for them. Amen. And, I, and I, I believe this, Sister Sandy. I believe if we do that with a true heart and a true repentance, then I feel like that's off of our, I feel like that's off of our hands. Don't stop praying for them. But I feel like the guilt trip is off of us. You know... I can't help but think help but think of wedding ceremonies. I've done so many of them. I've even married off some of you in here. Yes. Amen. Yep. Amen. I love doing wedding ceremonies. My wife asked me one time, why do you love that so well? I said, here's why. That's one step closer That's right. to being a Christian. That's right. Because let's face it, some people was living together. Right. You know, I've married many, many, many people that was living together. And it just excites me when it's all over and it's, I do. I got the license and I sign it. Yay. Yes. One step closer. Amen. Because, see, I want you to think about this. Sometimes we don't have that last breath repentance. That's right. Right? That's right. right? Uh -huh. Sometimes we don't have that opportunity. That's right. One step closer. But, see, we have to go through it all. God does not change. Are you with me? That's right. In this 13th scripture that I read, I want to tell you something about that. We have to be careful what we speak, guys. We have to be careful what we teach. We have to be really prayed up of what we're supposed to say about God's word yep. and about God. Do you know tonight that the Spirit will teach us how to speak? Amen. The Spirit right. will teach us how to teach. The Spirit will teach us how to stand out there and hold them signs and give the right smile to the people that come through there. Right. He will teach us how to act in front of someone. Right. He will teach us how to pray for the people who don't like us. Jesus promised us that the Spirit would teach us and guide us into truth. Right. You see? Truth. Yep. If we have this truth, guys, implanted and instilled in our hearts and in our spirits, we're going to speak the truth. This is the truth of God. You know, the Spirit taught Paul from the Word, and then Paul taught the believers. The truth of God is found in the Word of God. I want to leave you with something today. The Spirit of God is indwelled in all of us. Okay? That's right. I've hit on a few things tonight telling you that God does not change. Okay? I showed you a clip where Jesus did not change. He went through it all. He carried many, many, many burdens and many, many problems. Oh, I just thought about something. Do you realize how many people didn't like Jesus? Just thought about that. 
back when he was going through that, Sister Debbie. Yep. I mean, sounded like thousands of people didn't like him. You know why they didn't like him? Does anybody know? Do you think they was confused? Do you think they was deceived? Do you think they was of the world? Do you think they didn't let the Holy Spirit come in? Some were jealous. Yep. Yeah. Do you think they was full of unbelief, Sister Sue? Amen. Oh, yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah. How could they have unbelief? Wasn't that Jesus? Yep. Well, I remember this. 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 the, the disciples sometimes would go. That's right. Wouldn't they? Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And they seen him eyeball to eyeball. They go up and Amen. touch him and have lunch with him and pray with him and Take naps together and I'm not sure if I believe that, Grandma. You yep. see, unbelief, Sister Debbie. Yep. Keeps that void, keeps that spot from topping off with the Holy Spirit. That's right. Here's what we gotta understand. Let's go ahead and put the whole day together here tonight, okay? From the sermon that from the teaching this morning, from the sermon this morning, from the sermon tonight. God says we can have them supernatural powers. Amen. God says that we can do things that He's told us we can do. Amen. In the Here's the bottom line, Sister Sue. All right. The bottom line. Here comes the bottom line. You can't have a void in your spirit. That's right. That's right. You've got to let your what is this called, guys? Temple. Are we the temple? Amen. Oh, I thought we was in the temple. No, we're in a church building. This is the right. temple. Well, I remember a while back I was stuck on that. You are the church. This is the building. You are the church. Is that right? Amen. We are the church. Right. We cannot be the church with an empty spot in our Holy That's Spirit. Right. Right. We can't be the church with a void in the Holy Spirit. See, Amen. God says He wants to share his Holy Spirit with us. But he also tells us to go out and share the Holy Spirit, which makes us what? A sharer. Sharer. Right? Yeah. God says that we can do that, and God says the only way, the only way that we're going to see miracles take place, the only way that we're going to see things happen in the church is when we're full of the Holy yes. Spirit. And yes, we yes. still have more to go through. I tell you, God says He would teach us. Amen. Amen. Oh, we've added a new Bible class to the weeks of our lives. Right. Yes. How can we learn too much? Can't. can't. How can you have too much of the Holy Spirit? You can't. You can't. We just want to stay, oh God, give me the words how to say this. We want our Holy Spirit to stay full, yeah. but we don't want it so full we can't keep engulfing more than He gives us. Yep. Here's the answer. Sometimes we have to share, share it. it. Sometimes we have to give it out. Amen. Sometimes it has to overflow. Yep. I've seen it overflow in you before. Amen? Uh -huh. Also, I've seen you sometimes it looks like I need to <laughs> knock some in you. Amen? But that's beside <laughs> the point. Oh, sometimes it overspills. Sometimes it rolls over. And we're thinking, that's full of the Holy Spirit, right? Amen. I want to be full. I want to be a sharer. I want to be a sharer. I want to be, I want to be all that God wants me to be. Amen. That's right. I want to know that when I go out and when I teach, I don't care if you're standing there holding a sign. You don't know what somebody's going to pull up for and ask you. That's right. That's right. I want to be prepped. Yep. As some would say, prepared. I want to be prepared. Be ready. To have the best answer that I could possibly have. For that person that might have unbelief. Amen. You see, as my little wife brought this morning, that's a spirit out there, guys, that is went wild. Oh, yeah. What are you talking about, a spirit? Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, unbelief is a spirit. It's sure oh, not yeah. of the Holy Spirit. Nope. Now, you get rid of that un off of there. 
Yeah, that's right. I spoke about this many times before. Yep. I don't like the word un, un. Yeah. unless it's an onion. But I don't like the word un in front of words because it kills it. That's right. Unbelief. Unfaith. Un this. Yep. Un that. Get rid of the un, That's guys. Right. And let's share the gospel. Let's Amen. share the word of God. Let's get out and spread God's word like we're supposed to. Remember that they, you know, that Jesus went through it all. I, you know, I remember saying sometime here this evening, that on and on and on, God performed miracles, you know, especially back in the Old Testament before Jesus come, right? And he, he give us that in proof. That's right. He give us that in writing. He give us that in, uh, well, you know, they dug up, uh, they, they pretty well figured out where Noah's Ark is sunk yeah. at, okay? They pretty well know where that's at. Oh, now, why would that be? Because you see, God is still steadily, steadily trying to prove, yep. right? Amen. Wow. Trying to prove yep. to us hardheads yes. yep. that he was real. Amen. See, you got some people that don't believe in Noah's Ark. That's right. Are you right? Am I right? Oh, right. Oh, they don't yeah. believe in that. But the unbelievers, some of the unbelievers that did not believe that, believe it now. Amen. Because you see, somehow, some way. Somebody shared the gospel. Somebody right. shared the proof. That's right. I used to say this all the time. Don't you get tired of people saying, prove to me there's a God. Why would I have? That's good. Prove to me that there's not. <laughs> you know, prove to you that there's a God. First thing I do is just start looking up in the sky. Yeah. Right. They probably think I'm waiting for an answer. No, I'm just wanting them to look up there with me. Wow, clouds, wow, trees, wow, grass, wow, you. Yeah, bang three. No, that's not how that works. Nope. See, God said, he created us all. Let's all stand. Amen. Isn't God good? All, all the time. time. All, all the time. time. Through it all, it we can still, Sister Sandy, be a sharer. Amen. We've all been through lots of things. I was talking about Sister Sandy earlier today to Sister Sue. She went through a lot last year. I mean a lot, especially there towards the end of the year. Oh, yeah. I mean devastating. This year, we've all been through a lot already. But you see, guys, we got to hold that chin up. Yep. Right. we just got to hold this head up. And I want you to remember that clip tonight. Jesus went through it all. That's right. But you see, if he would have give up, where would we be? We wouldn't be here. We'd all be lost. We wouldn't be here. We wouldn't be blessed. Right. We wouldn't have each other. We wouldn't have the church. We wouldn't have him. We wouldn't have... I don't know. I don't know. But I do know this. It wouldn't be good. Yep. That day's coming again. But it's not going to be good. That's right. There's going to be a lot of... Oh, no. That's right. It is true. That's right. The end of the world is here. It's too late. It's too late. We may not have the last second repentance like I talked about earlier. But you know what, guys? If you're ready, are you sure you're ready? I am. If we're sure that we're ready. After this morning. Okay, Amen. That's, think about this, Sister Sue. If we're sure that we're ready, that's just a little bit less praying we can do for our salvation and start putting it out there to Amen. other people. Amen. Remember, yes. remember the people. Right. Listen to this, guys. Remember the people don't like you. Keep yep. on praying. Oh, yeah. Keep on sharing that prayer. Keep on asking God to save their soul. Keep on asking God to take that, Amen. that hate spirit away from them for you. Yes. Do you know somebody that hates you and you're still trying to figure out right. what you even done to them? Right. Come on, yeah. come on, yeah. am I right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, you're not going to stop that. Some people just don't like you because of the way you look. Amen. I'm serious, That's right. but I do know this. God says pray. Amen. That's right. Amen. That's right. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you so much for the opportunity to be in your house today. And Lord, we did see how your son went through it all. And we know that that's just uh, a little bit of what we go through. That we can go through it all, and the only way we can go through it all is with your guidance. We thank you for your Holy Spirit. 
you told us tonight, you showed us tonight, that you would teach us, that you would guide us, that you'd even tell us what to say when we get into situations. You also told us tonight, Lord, that you never change. You've always been the same God, yesterday, today, and forevermore. The same God that rolled back that Red Sea, the same God that delivered them Israelites, the same God that gushed water out of that rock. The same God that saved me, a wretch like me, yes, Lord. is still on the throne to save these people. Lord, we know without a shadow of a doubt tonight that there's people that don't like us. Sometimes for unknown reasons. We have no idea even why. I guess because of the way we look. I don't know. But the point is, we want to lift them up in prayer. Right? Amen. Help them, Lord. Lord, I look at it like this. It's just one more step for them towards salvation. But Lord, we want to ask that our hands are cleansed tonight yes, from the people that don't like us because we're going to continue to pray for them. Yes. We want our hands cleansed. We don't want any guilt left in us. The people that don't like us, Lord, Give them a special touch tonight. Let them know, Lord, that we actually love them. And we want the best for them also. You want the best for all of us. <clears throat> I spoke about a remnant tonight. That's one reason it's going to be a remnant, because of the hatred in the world. Yes, Lord. Lord, touch them, people. Yes, Lord. Help them get through this. Yes. Help them to get through it all. And I understand they might have more problems than that. But it's like the marriage I talked about. It's just one step closer. Amen. That they have to get off of their back sack. One step closer to salvation. Yes. Lord, we pray for everybody tonight. We know the world is going through a crisis right now, Lord, but only you can bring us out of this. So we thank you, Lord, for all that you do. Help us to be the people that we need to be. We thank you for letting us come back to church today. We thank you for the services today. Yes. We thank you for the people that we was able to witness to today. Lord, touch them in a very special way. Lord, if we've said or done or acted foolishly today in some way that we don't even realize, Lord, forgive yes. us for that. I ask that you take us all to our destination yes. safely. Bring us back at the next appointed time. We thank you for all that you do. In Jesus' name, if all could say, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Remember, he does not change. Baby, how to turn this thing off? I'll get it, babe. <clears throat> Don't forget your backpack up here, baby. Your backpack. Yeah, I'm coming back here to get all that. Guys, just leave that on, huh? I remembered. You remembered? I remembered. Did some say it. Remembered? Yep. Remembered. I remembered. Oh. Very good, Pastor. Well, thank you.